All right, well, you get to see my gray beard and it looks all disheveled. But I want to give you a little bit of a, I don't know want to say a warning. I'm gonna give you a part and a part number. If you use the Rock Pirates chassis, and if you use the Element Enduro Ecto, okay, you're gonna, it has trailing arms on it. It doesn't come with the longer lower links. I went and got a set of these. They're Element Enduro rod ends, part number 42040 is what I see stamped on there. And I don't see any other stuff. I, I believe this is for the Sendero, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say that on there. It just says Enduro rod ends, part number 42040. Um, comes with a couple different rod lengths. I used uh, didn't use the longest, but the next to longest with the longer rod ends, and it, it fit nicely. The axle tucks up under there nicely. I used the stock... Um, I use the stock end links for the uppers and it turned out great. So there's a tip. Wizard Nips. Hi kids. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to the show kids. So you can see my back wall is a bit messy. It's where I grind and weld and just throw things in general. It's pretty fun. It's a garage. What do you expect? Anyways. What are we looking at? This is an Element Ecto. Look how new it is. And that's because it's brand new. I picked this baby up off of Facebook and I bought from a guy who I've never bought from before, but I have seen sell a lot of things, a lot of good ratings. Look how clean this thing is, man. Seriously, if this guy has crawled it, it's been on a carpet for like a half a minute. There's the underside. It was a deal that I just couldn't pass up. And he offered me, we're gonna mess, there we go. He offered me all of this stuff to go along with it. I am gonna tell you guys that I paid just a little bit more for everything you see there than you would pay for that Ecto ready to roll out of the box. Now I didn't get a receiver in trans, which is fine because I have a few of those laying around. But all this Rock Pirates and SSD stuff you see, it's, you're looking at about three and a quarter just for that. So it was a great deal. What do we have? We have some shock towers. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need those for this, which is the main reason I bought it, was for this Rock Pirates chassis. Gonna drop this Ecto even lower, uh, put a little bit of weight on it, with some of these knuckle covers, some diff covers. Got some nice metal sliders here. Uh, spacers, dual servo mount. Pan hard mount I think is in there somewhere. And um, yeah, so we are gonna take this and swap it over to this matey. Arg! it's gonna be a pain in the booty. Uh, these things never come with instructions. I've done a couple other custom chassis builds and for the most part it goes together decently smooth and then you'll run into this painful area somewhere, just like working on a regular car, that uh, you think should take you about five minutes and it turns into way longer than that. But I'm going to turn this thing into a little rock pirate crawler. I got some different wheels and tires to throw on this thing too. Um, I just got rid of about five other crawlers. They were stock chassis. Uh, you know, I built, did different things with suspensions. I, I usually don't ever have a fully stock truck, but I wanted to get more into the low center of gravity stuff, the custom chassis stuff. I think it looks cool. Um, I dig it. I have another one, a scatter gun. And then I have a couple builds in the pipeline that I am going to be working on. One of those, which is a stage dive Capra. Can't wait to start on that. But first, we're going to transform this Echo a little bit. And uh, I'm going to take it all apart and see you in just a few moments. All right, I'm at the point where the wheels and tires are off. I'm not very far into the teardown, but I wanted to let you guys know... If you're not really familiar with swapping chassis, uh, especially to the custom ones with no directions, you haven't worked on Ectos, 
And even if you're seasoned, I learned this trick from working on real cars. Take a lot of photos. Now everything isn't going to be perfectly aligned. As you can see, holes here, a little bit different than the straight holes there. But you can tell where the servo mount goes. If you're going to reuse the bumper, obviously it goes there. Um, and you're going to take off the skid plate. I'm going to reuse this skid plate. So I don't have... I don't have a better option, so I'm just gonna reuse the stock one. I'm gonna use the stock electronics too. Uh, and probably, I'm gonna switch those out later, but you could see going through here exactly where everything hooks up. We're not gonna use these shock towers, obviously. But, um, and if you're gonna put different bracing in there, you can kind of see how it's set up stock. So it's a great idea to take a lot of photographs. Hey, erase them when you're done if you don't need them. Uh, but now at this point, I'm really going to start tearing into this. So the next time you see it, everything's going to be apart. Um, and then the next step will be to put it all back together. As you can see, she's mostly tore down. A couple small body mount pieces that I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with. If I'm going to try and retain the original body mounts or if I'm going to put a new body on. It's hard to say, but we're tore down. Uh, as you can see, there's crap everywhere. Um, and now I'm going to start the process of putting it all back together. I am going to start with the sliders and the rear suspension getting reattached. I didn't have to remove uh, the front, which was nice, from the skid plate. Uh, but everything on the back had to come off in order for the original chassis rails to be removed. So again, make sure you took pictures or are going to take pictures of everything. Um, the suspension slots in here very specifically. Um, I have new attachments for mine, but here's one of the pieces you can see here. It goes in a very specific way. On this side, it goes in like this. The hole up, as you can see goes on the inside of the rails like so. So make sure you're taking a lot of pictures. As you can see, it looks a little different all together here. Still need a solution to hold the body down. Eh. So I threw on the mounts in the back. It won't work in the front the way it's set up. I still need to add uh, two more links in the back too. I don't have the right size, so everything is kind of just set up there. But I had to throw the wheels on it just to see how it looks. And there are some center caps that go on here too, so it'll be looking all sweet when it's done. Um, oh, it kind of stayed. That's, that's a glimpse into what this thing's going to be. I will say there were some, some times I had to take this thing back apart about 50 million times and put it back together. Um, I'm probably still going to go a little bit lower, but the articulation is nice, so I'll pick it up and set it over here. It's got a nice uh, posture, flexes up decently. I mean, you don't really need much higher than that. Anything higher than that, you start getting a little unstable, but as you can see, it's got some nice flex to it. Uh, I did have some red links laying around. Even if they would have worked, they would have been a temporary thing. Which, like I threw up all over the thing here with, with uh, parts. But um, yeah, two more links in the back. Uh, we'll tighten it up. It's a little loose, as you can see. Um, so that's definitely not going to work. Not sure if the shocks are right where I want them to be, but I am also considering throwing different shocks on here, but we'll see how that goes. I, I, I do like the way it articulates. Uh, can't go wrong with the ruptures on there either. Vented for your pleasure. But yeah, if you do this, uh, again, take a lot of photographs. Um, these are power wagon specific skids. The body will sit on here nice. I did have to cut the front out because I put the bumper back on. So this thing will pretty much look uh, pretty close to stock. The wheels, the back axle will be up a little more like that. So it'll be um, pretty stock looking, but it should perform better. Not that it sucked before, but um, it definitely, oh, there's my real baby back there. Yeah, she nice. 
uh, yeah, there she is. So once I get everything complete, I'll make another video and we'll do a test run. As you can see, I changed up some wheels and tires. I actually did get my links done. Oh, sorry about that. And uh, it's got quite a bit of flex. I know that front wheel looks weird up on this, but it actually isn't. We'll drop that back down. So, put a set of Vanquish and Proline Baja Pros on here. It actually sits pretty nice. Um, so, there we go. That's more like it. Jeez, old man. Anywho, I still don't have a strap for the top. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's got a good amount of travel for sure. Got some weights in these wheels too. Give it a little bit more weight in the corners. I think I might actually trim that body up and drop it down a little bit. We shall see. But I think with the strap, it'll sit pretty good. Definitely, uh, a better feel over stock chassis although stock chassis on these is pretty good man in all honesty um, it has a nice amount of travel and everything but i think you could just get a lot more out of these aftermarket ch chassis good old rock pirates rc um yeah let me know what you think in the comments have you used any of their products have you used a chassis with any other axles from them uh, what's your favorite aftermarket chassis?